So the first game is a little game. Um, this one is called Crossing, and I had never heard of this game no, until same. we went to never even seen it the yeah until we went to the board game barbecue day. And um, Mike, one of the board game barbecue team, Mike. was like, "If you have five minutes, I'd like to teach you a game, and I promise it won't take long." Um, I think it was the end of the day, yeah. and we were just about to leave, and he's like, "No, no, no, we have to play and a game." Like, you're exhausted. You've been playing like all these like games. Yeah. And you're like, okay, it has to be something that can't take too much brain power i can't yeah and so crossing is a really cute game where all you're doing is pointing at mushrooms that are spread out on the table so that mushrooms. have I they were gems no they're mushrooms that have gems sitting on them of course yeah of course they are yes. <laughs> so they are little tiles that That's have mushrooms know. on them and on each of those mushrooms is going to be a number of colored gems and what mm. you're going to be doing each round is simultaneously everyone around the table is going to point at a mushroom mm. um, so it's like three two one everybody mm. points at a mushroom now the key to this is if you point to the same mushroom as someone else, nobody gets those gems. Mm. If you're the only person pointing to a mushroom, you get to take those gems and put them into your player area. And now this is where it gets a little more aggressive. But during the rounds, if when we say three, two, one, if you don't want to point at a mushroom, instead you can point at someone else's collection of gems around mm. the table. And if you again are the only person to point at their gems, you get to take all of them yeah. and add them to your uh, player area. If you want to protect your gems, say you have started to collect quite a few and you're worried that someone's going to point at your player area and take your gems, instead of pointing at a mushroom or someone else's gems, you can cover your mm. player area. And that means that if anyone's pointing at you, they can't take them and you're going to be able to bank those gems and put them aside and they are all going to count towards the end game scoring. Mm. However, if you choose to protect your gems in the next round, you are out of the round. You yeah. don't get to point at anything. And so you have to time it well, really you're busy carefully. taking your gems out the back and <laughs> putting them in your storage. Yeah. So that makes perfect thematic sense. <laughs> so you have to sit out the next round, which means you don't get to collect any more gems. Mm. And the scoring at the end of the game is super simple. The game ends when the bag of gems runs out. So it's just a finite amount of gems that are in the pouch mm. that you're drawing and refilling. As you're refilling the mushrooms, if no one takes those gems, more get added so they become more and more attractive. Mm. And at the end of the game, for every set of the three different colored gems you have, you're going to get five points. For the special translucent gems, you're going to get two points. And for every other leftover colored gem, you're going to just get one point. Mm. Super simple. You can teach this game in around five minutes. You can play Less it. Less than that. Yes, like yeah. a two second teach. Yeah. I just taught you just then. And then you can also. Um, uh, play it in like 10 minutes and I have I've taken this to my work mm. and they absolutely adored it and it was just in the lunch break everybody was eating lunch and it was you know there was probably a group of 10 people but um, this is maximum five six six players oh, six, yeah. and so we had six people playing uh, at any one turn time but because the games are so fast someone else would sub in and be like i'm in this round it's just such and silly fun it's silly just... it's absolutely silly it's super easy mm. but it's just one of those either either as a warm-up game mm. or in a situation where someone just wants to play a really quick 10 minute game this is your game great um, icebreaker i think as yeah. well because it's like you're just laughing and you're just like there's no real skill in it and yeah yeah and so it was a little hard to track down actually in mm. australia there were no retailers that were stocking it so I did have to buy it from Amazon US, which um, was the only place I could find it. Um, but yeah, that is this little game, Crossing. Oh.